Hi, my name is Ricky Shannon, Application Engineer for Trimex Solutions 3D Printing Team. And today I would like to show you how to bring very sharp, high resolution logos and graphics out of SolidWorks into GrabCAD Print for 3D printing. Applying logos and text onto parts is extremely easy in SOLIDWORKS and what we'll end up using is the split line command. What the split line command allows us to do is to take uh, sketch entities, project those onto a surface, not necessarily even a flat surface but a curved surface and anywhere those entities were it'll end up splitting up that surface into smaller surfaces. So in this case I've got a model has a curved surface here. I'll go ahead and just do a quick sectional view so you can get an idea of what we're looking at here. And I've gone ahead and applied some appearances to this particular part. It'll have a blue rim to it. But what I wanted to do, since the logo I'm going to put on here is going to be white, I want to go ahead and just make this white surface. That way I don't have to cl click and select every single portion of the Trimac logo and then change it to white. It'll be easier just to select the background and change that color. So I have here a sketch that I've previously done and that just happens to be on the top plane. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up the split line command. And with this, we're going to end up doing a projection because we want to project this onto this top surface here. So we're going to use for our selections, we're going to simply select that sketch. And we're going to then select the surface that we want it to project on and hit the checkbox. Now we can see that sketch is projected on here and this has actually broken this single surface up now into all these smaller surfaces which allows me to apply different appearance settings to each one of these. So I can change say the color of the Trimac text or the color of the logo and change each one of those individually and I can change the background behind it as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll hide that sketch to get it out of our way and then we'll apply a texture on here and I'll go ahead and use say a Kevlar texture so I will select the regions where I need that to be that'll be inside of this R and the background and then I'm going to apply a new texture to these faces so bring up the appearance controls and under plastics I'll go to composite I'll drag over this Kevlar and maybe I'll scale it just a little bit for good luck. Hit the checkbox. And there we have it. Now we're ready to actually export this out of SolidWorks. And one of the easiest ways to make sure all of our information is, is kept in here is we want to export this as a 3MF file. So we'll simply go to File, Save As. We want to go on up to near the top of the list. I'll go ahead and call this split line with logo. As a quick note as well, when you're working with a 3MF file format, the first time you use it, and I'm working with a fresh install of SolidWorks 2021 here, so I haven't actually saved a 3MF yet. So what I always want to do is make sure I click to include materials and include appearances. And that's under the options command when you go to your save as. And what this will allow you to do is make sure that that, say that those colors and uh, in this case that Kevlar texture that we did will carry over with it. Simply hit OK. Then you can go ahead and save your file. And again that's found under this options command. And now we're good to open that file into GrabCAD print. Now that's all that's left to do is to put this on our printer's tray. So we simply want to add that model in here. We'll go ahead and bring open that 3MF file. and we'll place that on the tray. Go ahead and change our orientation here. And there we see we have our part came in with our logo on it and also carried over the appearances of those textures that were on there. 
and we can see as we zoom in really close on this model, because this is done with surfaces, we don't have to worry about pixel resolution, which sometimes can be an issue when we're working with 3D softwares and trying to bring in logos and trying to get a good match with the, the resolution and the scale and the size of the part. And this way, we don't have to worry about that. We can keep zooming in almost indefinitely, and we're never going to see any oddities with this because this is simply three-dimensional CAD data that makes up the outlines of this logo. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to Trimex 3D Printing Application Engineering Team, and have a great one. Take care. <music>